Good morning. Today we take our 2D section again and we want to compute the torsion properties of the section. That means the torsion stiffness and the warping function. The section is shown here with the mesh that we used during the thermal analysis. And of course the mesh being used for the torsion properties must be the same. So have a look at the mesh, try to remember more or less how it looks and this will be important later on in this presentation. So we are going to use our favorite mesh generator, GM Saphir, and we open the recent file, 2D Thermal Geo. So the section is here. There are very few things that we have to change from the settings, the, from the Saphir properties, which have been uh, used for the thermal analysis. First, we have to take care that this box is ticked, run torsion analysis. That's the first thing to do. Second thing is that we have to change the name of the input file that will be created. The name for the thermal analysis was 2dthermal.in. So the name for the torsion analysis has to be 2D thermal hyphen T. We don't have the choice. We know that we have to fix the warping function to zero at least at one node of the section and we know the warping function is equal to zero on the axis of symmetries of the section. We have one axis of symmetry and this is the reason why when creating the section we divided the upper line of the section in two elementary entities in such a way that we now have a node at this position. If I double click on the node, I can add a constraint, which is a torsion point constraint. That's the function F0, I add it. And if I want to be sure, I can view here torsion point. It's not obvious, but trust me here, it's written F0 and the color of the point has changed compared to other points. So that's okay. Now about the mesh. If we do the torsion analysis directly after the thermal analysis, we will have the same mesh. But because we closed GM Saphir and we opened it again, we are not sure that the mesh is the same. So we are going to recreate the mesh. Of course, we have to take care that the settings of the mesh generators have not been changed. And we click on the same command as we did to create the mesh for the thermal analysis. So that was 2D. Okay, the mesh is here, it's not that clear, so I know if I click on view material, it's more visible. After 2D, I clicked on refine by splitting once, and then once again. And then I clicked on recombine 2D. So look, the mesh is the same as the one that was created for the thermal analysis. So everything is fine. I open the command line to check that I didn't have any problem and particularly when I will create the input file by clicking here on create Saphir in file and the file has been created. So to check that I go in the Windows Explorer and I see the file here 2D terminal hyphen T dot in. I can open the file. Okay here I see torsion if I go directly at the bottom of the file, I see the two materials being used. And because they are load bearing materials, no matter what the name, the two properties which are used in the thermal analysis are Young modulus and Poisson ratio. If the material would be insulation or user one or gypsum, there would be no property here. There would be a blank line, okay? So now we want to run Saphir. We have the appropriate version. We add the input file to the terminal hyphen T, add, and we can run it. Okay, it was running. If we go into Diamond, we open the XML file here to the terminal hyphen T XML, open. And if we plot the mesh, we see it's the same 
as the one used for the thermal analysis and if we paint the warping function it is here okay and it is indeed symmetrical now we can go in the windows explorer again and we see now we have different files we have a file 2d thermal dot tem which contains the temperatures in the section and it can be used for 2d or 3d beam finite elements and we have the file here 2d thermal hyphen t dot tor which contains the torsion properties and it will be used in addition to 2d thermal dot tem if 3d beam finite elements are used in the model of course, Safir will check in the mechanical model that these two files are consistent and that the mesh has been the same. Thank you.